OK, if we could bring the meeting to order. Welcome to the Department of Trade. Public money has paid for the teas and coffees, so help yourself and please have a biscuit. Oh, but nobody finish an entire packet because some of them are samples for demonstration purposes. As you can see, we've even brought in a table that looks like a biscuit just to make you feel at home. Thank you. Thank you. Now, I think most of you know one another, but uh, if we could just go around the table. John? Hello, I'm John Crisco of Bixco. 20 years in biscuits, winner of nine OTs and two Big Dippers. Bixco now supplies over 94 countries. Thank you, John. Mary? Hello. I'm Mary Chomp, first and only female CEO of Baked and Brown. We only have four OTs, I'm afraid, but we do have ten Wheaties. And last year we were voted biggest and best beverage buddy in a poll of over 120 million biscuit users across the EU. Excellent. Thanks, Mary. Tommy? Oh, um, hello. I'm Tommy Trunk and... Uh... I'm an ad hoc entertainer. And don't be modest. Oh, and uh, winner of uh, Lance It's a Jack Volume Award. 51 millilitres a pop. That's a mighty tablespoon of loving. They call me the Milkman! Hey, up, the Milkman's coming. Anyone for yoghurt? I cover most of the leads in Bradford area. I also get called uh, Mr. Pop Till You Drop. I just attract nicknames. Hey, I hope you all love the pill, because I'm about to spread the love! Very impressive CV. Thanks, Tommy. Don. <clears throat> Donald Tui, uh, chairman of Donald's Dunking. I cannot believe what I have just heard. Tommy is what? Frankly, I think the whole industry has gone a little stale. So let's let's shake it up. Bring in a fresh perspective. Look, this is bullshit. What the bloody hell's going on here? 21st century. The vision. A biscuit bonanza is anticipated with an overall market growth, yes, an overall market growth of seven to nine percent across the board. That's across the board, without even beginning to look at the export potential. James, <clears throat> I do not think it is appropriate for this horn person to be here. Because? Because he's a self-confessed sexual monster. I think monster is a little strong, Mary. I'm an adult entertainer. What? I've got my own DVD. It's called Avalanche. It's got 12 A's. It's triple X. He's just a great big wanker. Mm. I enjoy a shuffle. You don't, mate. He's absolutely vile. He loves biscuits. We all love biscuits. It doesn't mean that we emit uh, for filthy cash. I'm just here to spread the love. Exactly. <clears throat> now, all the industry indicators suggest that the prime mover in this market expansion will be none other than our trusty old friend, the custard cream. Oh, now, Jim. Oh, crumbs. Here it goes. Here it comes. No! 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 Today, we're looking for your input rather than your output. I manufacture high-quality foodstuffs. I do not fraternise with onanists. Right. Now you're making me feel uncomfortable. And that takes some doing. I was invited here by him. Yes. This is a total bloody fiasco. Look, OK, I, I, I accept I may have misjudged the mood. Look, John, Mary, Donald, please sit down. Bear with me, please. Sometimes, you know, out there thinking, left field thinking can bring big rewards. Please, John, just bear with me. Thank you. Now, along with the custard cream, this market expansion will be driven by the simple, classic, digestive. The Elton John and Cliff Richard of the biscuit world. And what is driving this new opportunity? Well, nothing other than an old market revisited. Our research shows that due to the available slurry of 24-hour <laughs> streaming hardcore porn, ladies and gentlemen, the soggy biscuit is back 
in fashion with a fist flying vengeance. Soggy biscuit? Mm. I, I think a friend told me about it once. Um, the circle jerk? Men clustered around a biscuit? Well, that urban myth, is that what this is all about? It's not an urban myth, it happens. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. It does, chapter eight. Exactly, it does. We have all the industry data. No, you haven't. We do, I'm telling you. Look, I've got government research. It's all gone a bit WMD. <laughs> Look, as a responsible foodstuff supplier, I'm asking myself, is this the healthy option? I think not, however. The businesswoman in me is intrigued. How many biscuit units are consumed during one of these sessions? It depends on the friskiness. Tommy? I could do a dozen. Just check it out on my website, www.tommytrunk.com. That's come. Look, I don't wish to nitpick, James, but a digestive, surely a wagon wheel with its superior circumference. Or a sponge finger with its absorbent qualities. To be honest, James, 7 to 9 per cent just doesn't cut it. I'm not prepared to budge from my moral high ground for anything less than 25 per cent. So if you've nothing else to bring to the table... Uh, Tommy, maybe a demonstration would help. All oh, right, yeah, sure. Uh... Tommy can do a demonstration for you. If you just put on these sou'westers, I'll limber up, and then I'll spread the love, eh? Love? That's not love. That's your excess spermatozoa, you rancid little stroker. You're still in range. You're still in range. If you don't want to do it for me, do it for Britain. <laughs> that is a lot of loving. So just my high tea's too saucy. Think my coffee break's a big mistake. You say it's a model of sin, tell me to pack it in, but I can't stop the big keep up. I know I'm slipping when I'm dipping. Keep on thunking about the dunk, and I can't stop the big keep up. I don't feel unfaithful when I played a playful. I know it's tricky to boot, it's not the thing to do. I love my biscuits more than you. 